everybody who uses forklift batteries, most of them do load testing to test the health of the battery. And it's a it's a labor intense process. You hook a battery up that's been fully charged to a load tester, and an operator has to sit there and take readings, voltage readings every 20 minutes from every cell, document it, and run the test for about six hours. What this does is it runs the test automatically. You hook the battery up to this machine, and it, it reads and records all the readings every 10 minutes, and it prints out a report at the end that tells you what cells are bad and what cells are good. It gives you basically an inside look at your battery health. And most batteries have a five-year warranty, and you might have cells that are bad and you don't know it, and you're running this forklift and you realize, you know, I'm not getting the full run out of this. I'm not getting an eight-hour shift. So they, they, they don't know the health of the battery. They hook it up to this and they can say, wow, you know what? I have cell three, four, and eight. They're dropping out and they're dropping below an 80% capacity in the first two hours of the run. It's supposed to go six. So that's what this machine does. It's, it's an automated About how much would a machine like this run with so many of these ballparks? We make it in three different sizes. We have a we have a unit like this that can be made to do one battery at a time or two batteries at a time. Same unit. We also have a unit that can do four batteries at a time. So it's twice as wide. Okay. It's basically because we have to have storage for the load bank. There's a load bank under there. Um, a single unit like this sells for anywhere from about Forty-two to forty-three thousand uh, dollars. The larger one can go up to about seventy-five to eighty thousand dollars. The payback is, you know, is, is basically you got warranty claims. You got how many times a change out of battery has to has to be done. If the battery, if you put a brand new battery in at the start of the shift and it goes out and in four hours, the four truck, four truck driver's back to get a new battery put in. Well, he's sitting around waiting for a new battery to be put in, and the shift is you're paying him, and the shift's not over yet. You want the battery to last the full eight hours of the shift. Um, and then, you know, you're recharging the battery more often because you're not getting the full life out of the battery. So there's a lot of ways you pay back the cost of this.